Greetings, German students. I'm not German, but the woman who went through the security checkpoint before me was German. And somehow I got parts of her identity. And apparently you have a need for education. And I had a dream one day that I would be president of the United States. And then after I, I was done being the president of the United States, hopefully just one term, because I was going to finish everything that I had hoped to do in that one term, I was then going to go to college and finally get a college degree. And the school that I chose to go to was in Palestine. It would have been the college I would have gone to so that I could go and harass former colleagues of mine who thought they were qualified to be professors. This was my, my dream. I really wanted to do it. Though after I became president of the United States and after I'd served one term, I would go back to college and finally get a college degree. However, we're in a very serious situation. COVID-19, what can I say? I personally think it is a attempt to cover up for the massive defrauding that happened in conjunction with those Liberty Bond issues that came about as a result of World War I. See, in the United States in the 70s, there was a policy change. And it said that anybody that was a holder of a bearer bond, including a bearer bond that may have had a 50 or even 100 year term, was required to turn them in and to cash them out, even though it might have been early, and then convert it to some other kind of security because banks in the United States would not take those bearer bonds. And around this time and shortly thereafter, other banks around the world, including throughout Europe, did the same. But not all of them. As a matter of fact, in 2017, I had to write a report to the auditor of the state of Texas after I came across information about how certain accounts in an, a bank in the United States were being adopted by a foreign bank that was going through Germany. There were 50 of them. 50 American accounts were being adopted and were going to be made foreign accounts. And my concern was that what was happening is that there were some people in the United States that had held out and kept their bearer bonds. And they wanted to cash them, but they can't cash them in an American bank. If they had accounts, however, connected to one of those American accounts that got adopted in a foreign country where it was legal to cash out a bearer bond, then they'd be able to cash them out. We're talking good stuff that's not around anymore. The stuff that they had that would be put in the underwriting or whatever would be used in conjunction with those bonds all the way back 1917, 1918, 1919, even a little bit before, maybe the 11s or 12s. Maybe you are somehow able to do whatever you hooked up on those 11s and 12s. Maybe you get a five-year convertible. Maybe you got a series. Maybe somebody got ambitious or they got into the full cycle. So they did something with the early ones, hoping that those last ones, when they came around, they'd get the good stuff. Who do you think wants the stuff that cashes out later? I think it would probably be the people who wanted the very high-end, high-risk elements of whatever was supposed to be left over from the war and whatever would have been the seized booty, you know, the loot. After you go to war and you conquer a place, you usually go through. Now, if you're going on to another battle, you do it to resupply so you can move on to somewhere else. What if you've won the war? The war's over and you go in and you find what's left of their armory. You find what's left of their stockpiles. You find their prisons with their prisoners, including the very special prisons where they kept the high profile prisoners. People with titles. People with estates. People with heirs and assignees that's the stuff you get later in the war that's the stuff that would be on the older bonds you want that stuff you want to cash out of that stuff as good as you can well what if somebody pulls a big time bond scheme and tries to do everything they can to sabotage it like right before the year comes due bam there's a calamity there's a major major emergency situation everything gets trashed 
So even if you get access to that good stuff and it's time for you to collect, are you really getting the good stuff anymore? It's been trash. It's been depreciated. It's been catastrophized. Maybe you're like, I don't want that anymore. I want something else. Something comparable. I'll negotiate. Well, how long do you have to negotiate? Let me ask you a question. How good are you at math? How long does it take to turn 50 into 16? How long does it take to turn 50 adopted accounts into 16 local executives? Do you know? Do you know? I don't know yet. I mean, or do I? This is lesson number one. If you're still interested in school with me, I'll give lessons twice a week.